Ocean waves. If you have ever been to the ocean, you have probably seen some cool waves. We are going to learn more about the science of ocean waves today and quiz you as we go. Let's dive in. Ocean waves are most often created by wind, but other forces like the moon's gravitational pull, earthquakes, volcanoes, and landslides can also cause waves. Question. Ocean waves are most often created by what force? The wind. When wind blows across the surface of the ocean, it transfers some of its energy to the water. The stronger the wind and the longer it blows, the bigger the waves. The energy from the wind moves through the water in a circular motion, passing from one water molecule to another. This is why waves can travel great distances across the ocean even after the wind has stopped blowing. Scientists call these wind-driven waves for obvious reasons. Wind-driven waves are the most common type of ocean wave. Would you be surprised to learn that waves have different parts? The crest is the top of the wave, and the trough is the lowest part. The height of a wave is the distance from the trough to the crest. And the distance between two crests is called the wavelength. Question. What is the lowest part of the wave? The trough. The size and shape of waves change depending on wind speed, ocean depth, and the distance the wind travels across the water. Here's an interesting fact. Waves slow down and change shape when they get close to the shore. As the water gets shallower, the bottom of the wave starts to drag on the ocean floor. This causes the wave to rise higher, and when it gets too steep, it breaks and crashes onto the shore. Tides are another type of ocean wave. The gravitational pull of the moon and the sun causes the water in the ocean to bulge out, which creates high and low tides. Tides can be forecast based on the position of the sun and moon and other oceanic factors, which means they are much more predictable than wind-driven waves. Question. Tides are caused by the gravitational pull of the sun and the blank moon. Tsunamis are the largest, fastest type of wave and by far the most dangerous. They are caused by underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides and are considered a natural disaster, like a hurricane or tornado. Tsunamis are pretty rare but can do a lot of damage when they reach the shore. Question. Name the forces that cause tsunamis. Underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, or landslides. Ocean waves play an essential role in the environment. They help mix nutrients in the water, which makes it easier for marine animals like fish and plankton to survive. Waves also help shape coastlines by slowly eroding rocks and moving sand from one location to another. Scientists use tools like satellites and buoys to study waves. This helps them understand how waves affect the environment, as well as to predict tsunamis or other storms and warn people when big waves are coming. Question. What is a way ocean waves play an essential role in the environment? Ocean waves help mix nutrients in the water and help shape coastlines. We hope you have enjoyed learning about ocean waves with us.
The next time you visit the beach, you can tell your family or friends all of the radical facts you have learned today. Surf's up! Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.